Hi guys, welcome to your July 2021. This is going to be the you versus them reading for the beautiful sign of cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bam, hello to my members and my patrons. Let's get started. Everything you need, Cancerian, um, is below in the description box. If you're interested in connecting for a personal reading, all of that is below. Um, all of the specials, um, current specials right now are for both returning clients and for new clients to me. Um, they do not expire until September the 30th. You do not have to go and search for them. They are below in the description box. Okay. Now let's set this up. This is going to be the you versus them reading from the 15th through the first through the 31st um when you see blue that's going to be representing our main energy for our cancerian masculines and here is the blue representing their clarifying energy just showing you the back of the cards and for my cancerian uh feminines you're going to be representing uh with your energy is going to be represented by the gold deck and pink is going to be representing your clarifying energy. All right. All right. So interestingly enough, looking at this particular energy between you and your individual cancer, what's interesting is, is that there has been a shift. Now I've been saying this in a lot of the um, readings as I close you guys out with the month. It's really weird that all of these videos so far, it seems like as soon as the full moon kicked off with Aquarius, it just went from there. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep myself from that sneeze. All right. And what I've noticed is a shift in the masculine energies. Everyone, it. And, and what I'm feeling for a lot of you guys is that once you felt this way, but now you've, you've twisted it, you've turned it. Um, a lot of the feminine collective right now is kind of turning in, um, dare I say, on its ass now. It's just like, you know what? I need time to think. Let's get into it. So the inter the interesting um, part is, is right now the, the masculines are looking at you. This is the queen of hearts. This is who you are. They're looking at you. You're very nurturing. You already know this Cancerian. You are the mother of the Zodiac. Okay. So my Cancerian masculines are really looking at you to that particular perspective. And what's interesting about this card, it is, it is also the Empress. What clarifies that is the energy of you inspire me. So there has been something that you have taken, that you have done. There's been an action. There's been something in the way that you handled this. Maybe you handled the situation with the masculines with, with grace. Um, you didn't get disrespectful. You didn't bust the windows out of a car. You didn't do any of that garbage. You took the disappointment on the head. You had your head held high. Um, and you just kind of dealt with what you had to deal with. And I think that masculines were used to dealing with a different type of woman before you came along, feminines. It's interesting to me that they think about you now. You're an inspiration to them when they think back to how graciously you handled some things and they're able to say, wow, I'm not strong enough to do that in my everyday life. Where did Cancerian feminines get this strength from? Okay. But right now you are in definitely a five of wands. And let me just say they do want a new beginning that they do want a new beginning. That is, you know, they want more than a new beginning. They want a new beginning um, with you. They're thinking about your connection. They're thinking about, you know, intimacy. They're thinking about everything that took place in this relationship before it went bad with you. Okay. Feminines, you are in the energy of the five of wands. We know unfortunately that this definitely is an energy of disagreement. You know, um, I always give you your keywords when I tell you, when I show you that five of wands and I do believe that, um, you know, that is definitely conflict, quarreling and competition. That is what I feel like. It's definitely, um, cross purposes. It's, it's like all ends off the bat. It's like having 
you know, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell that person. I'm going to tell that person. And it, each time I go somewhere, I have a different version. There could be some people involved in this energy. There could definitely be some people that are involved. Um, I do feel like this is also disagreeing. Quarreling, arguing, bickering. Okay. What's interesting about this also is that it's also the devil. Let me show it to you one more time. That's also the devil. And you, you really wanted to come out of that energy, masculine, um, feminine. You, you don't want that devil energy. You started to look at your, you guys' um, patterns. You started to look at how it, it just seemed to be this vicious cycle. And you're like, you know what? I can't keep doing this. And that's being clarified by finding out the truth crushed me. So there is some type of truth that was revealed that's where you are right now let's go into a little bit of the past for a second in comparison masculine was indefinitely the two of swords so they cut their they, they cut their um their energy off they cut their energy off let me get my big wand here they cut their energy off they blocked their emotions out the problem is, is that you didn't know that when they were blocking their emotions out, the, it appeared that they were doing it from a standpoint of being malicious. They blocked out their emotions with that two of swords, but this is hangman. So they're an upside down enlightenment. They are enlightened. It appeared that they put themselves in a situation where they just kind of not care. Chuck the deuces and was like, I'm out. They didn't bother to take the time to let you know that they were thinking about everything and they, they just, it was overwhelming. You could feel like right now, mass uh, feminines, who cares? Marv, they're the one that, that lied, but they didn't just block out their emotions. I give anybody that's in this particular energy, a little bit of a break because I know that when you mix hang man energy with that energy, it kind of changes the dynamic a bit. Okay. What's clarifying that is, I don't want to know. So that's what they did. They blocked themselves out from receiving the wrath. They put themselves in a situation where they caused the problem, but they blocked out everything because they knew what you were going to say. Now, I don't know about you Cancerian feminines. I tell you what. That is one of my pet peeves, especially when you knew you did the crime. I have a Cancerian male right out there today. And I'm just going to break this for a second and say as a cancer son, and he is a cancer son. When I see him is on site. Do you hear me? Because he did this. Now, it doesn't resonate. This happened years ago. I'm not romantically involved with him, but that just instantly brought me back to I don't want to know like that. So it's like, so you get to go through this whole thing. We have a disagreement. I found out the truth about something. This is actually real. Um, it's like eight years ago and he wasn't telling the truth. And it's like, okay, so you're not telling the truth, but because he had anticipated my reaction, he just instantly ghosted. I know that I've heard that from a lot of my Cancerian feminists that that's what the masculines do. And I'm not about to um, blow up my comments with all of these back and forth and this and that. But I am going to say that I do know that as a Cancer female, that is a pet peeve. So you don't want the wrath, but you had time to do what you had to do. So you get to block me out like uh, -uh I'm not trying to hear what Marv has to say. So, yes, although I am evolved in a whole nother situation completely over that and have pretty much compartmentalized and put him where he is. If I see him, it is on site and I'm not yelling. I'm not screaming. I'm not clowning. I'm just going to walk up to him and what he tried to run away from. He is going to be gifted with those words. And it's just only a few. They're choice words, trust me. So that is what this person did. So if that's what they did, you know, the way that I'm picking it up with my little personal parallel, I can see why that would piss you off, okay? Right now where you're at, where you were then, that's what you wanted to do. You wanted to use logic. You found out something that was some type of truth. It crushed you. 
this is the king of swords and this is also the emperor they knew that that emperor was coming and they tried to escape from the wrath um a lot of times too when i know what water signs um, water sign men, but men in general, you have to watch the ones and I, I'm not singling you out masculines because women do it too. But in this particular case, I am talking to the Cancerian feminines. I'm feeling like a lot of the time you'll probably attract this, this energy of a person doing something and then them not trying to hear what it is that you feel. So they run. We talked about that. What's even more interesting in is they'll come back in like nothing never happened. You got to watch that too. So right now you, well, in the past, you were in the emperor's type of mentality. You were trying to do what it took to, to get rid of this situation. You didn't want to be in stagnation. You wanted to handle this the way you saw fit and they kept blocking it. And what clarifies your past energy is we need to let each other go. So this is kind of what you have been trying to do. And I think this is, <laughs> this is what they did not want to hear. They were not going to, they, they didn't want to know. They felt like it would be easier for them to spare their manhood. If they just let you say what, what, if they, if they block themselves from hearing what you had to say. Okay. And that's what they did. You, they didn't want to know. They didn't want to know that, you know, they, and, and it was because they were afraid to, to really face it. Um, Cancerian, they, they really did just didn't want to accept the fact that you, what you were going to say and they didn't really want to let you go. That's what it was. Okay. All right. We opened that up. Let's get into the main energy. That's interesting. Wow. They were running, running scared. What's going on with my masculines right now? I'll show you that. All right. So right now they're in the energy of trying to enjoy, um, accomplish their goals with the nine of pentacles. I'll show you that in a second. Um, they're in hermit mode. So they're still in hermit mode right now. Um, but they are ready to work. They're ready to come out. <laughs> they're ready to grow this relationship. They are ready. Oh, yes. Oh yeah. You know why? Because they went through, they went through something very spiritual. They're going through a rebirth. One second. They just went through a rebirth. Let's talk about it. Nine of Pentacles. That's also, oh, that's also Hermit. So Cancerian, the feminines, Cancerian masculine, sorry, they're going through right now, kind of being focused on the pinnacle, got the head held down. In the past, you saw them as this hangman. You just chilling out. You know what I'm saying? They're chilling out, sorry. And they're in, a, in, in an energy where it appears that they are looking for answers. Even if they cause some problems, feminines, this is where they're at. So the masculines are definitely kind of withdrawing within themselves. They're experiencing some professional highs. This is the, the world with the Ace of Pentacles. So they could have recently got some type of promotion, new job, open up your new business, whatever that is. The Pentacles are rolling in and looking okay. The problem is, is another part of this world card, because that's also the Ace of Pentacles in this deck is blended is obviously the world. And a large part of this is integration. And I really do feel like when I see this three of wands, knowing that there is a whole lot of things that they want to do to fix this. Look at this. So the tools, the tools that are there, we have the rope, we have a saw, we have a, sa a hammer. This is what I want to do. I want to fix this. I want to fix this. Um, they're going to be coming. And right now they don't know what to say, of course, but they want to integrate with you. They want to bring you a commitment is what they want to do. Now, how do I fix things? What do I say to cancer and feminine feminines that gets her, her attention? What does the masculine say to you to get the attention? Because at the top of the deck, they are in the Ten of Swords. They're stressed out. I don't believe that this was a breakup that was a long time ago. 
if that makes sense. Like, I feel like this is probably within the last three to six months for some of you. If it's any, if it, if it goes beyond that, mm -mm, I do feel like this is the last three to six months. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, let's move on to feminine. So right now they're definitely feminines in an energy where they want to work with you and they're dealing with the judgment of what they've done. They're dealing with the judgment of their past mistakes. And right now they really want to come forward with you and they really are, 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 are coming up with a strategy as to what they want to do. Um, but they're being dealt with right now. They're stressed out. You have the fool feminines, Cancerian feminines. What else is going on with cancer feminine? Show me, please. Aha, you're not. This has been a very popular card, the Four of Cups, with my ma my feminines lately. Show me, you guys were almost mirroring that Three of Wands almost came out. Almost came out. All right, so you're working really hard right now. That is the Eight of Pentacles. All right, oh, another three, a different type of three. Look at that. So, first and foremost, you know, this right here, you're not focused on love. That's not what you're focused on. You're focused on yourself. This is that four of cups. You can feel the vibration. You know that this is what they want. You're just not right. You're not there right now. You're dealing with yourself. The fool right there is in, indicative of you going into something brand new. A new attitude, new way of looking at things, uh, feminines, new perspective. You've changed. And I don't feel like you're mean and rude. You're just at peace. You're like, what happened, happened. But if you think that you're about to bring this BS back into my life, I'm telling you, I'm, I, I don't want to feel that kind of pain again. And I'm not interested in the type of love that you give. This is what I'm feeling from you. Right now, I'm working on myself. Eight of Pentacles. I'm working on myself. I'm disciplined. I'm diligent. I'm doing me. This is what I'm feeling from you. Wow. Wow, let's get into this. Look, masculines. Oh, at the bottom of the deck is the hair font or the five. Uh, list. Look at that. Look at that five of pentacles. So it looks like they were having some issues with their money. You know what this feels like? They felt abandoned. They feel abandoned right now. But that's also the hair font. So they're being, they're, they went through some type of money issues. They didn't want to let you know. There was some truth that you found out, feminines, but now they're being worked on right now, okay? They're slowly rebuilding whatever that financial piece is in their life, and they are going to be coming towards you once they figure it out. I apologize for that. I have judgment. I have the world. I have hermit, okay? So we have that energy, okay? Let's get some clarifiers over here. You, your intellect arouses them. I told you that you're, they're inspired by you. You made something work. They screwed something up. They've watched you handle things. They know that they were an MF, a low down MF at that cancer, but they've watched you graciously kind of handle things. They don't understand how you do it. They don't understand how you were able to look past something that you wanted so bad. Up, oh, inspire me comes back out. They are, listen, this is what they're looking at. What else do we have? They, they want this. <laughs> I want that old thing back. Look at that. Woo. Well, that's where they are. Ooh, yes. We're going to stop it. Ooh, we, they still look, I am recovering. They're on their way back. They're going through their moment right now. Feminines, you're not interested. They are walking into the higher them. They are going into an energy where they need to, where they need to deal with themselves, deal with what they did in the past. They're, they're, they're dealing with the fact that they didn't do you right. They know that they didn't do you right. They're dealing with this. They want you back. And there's a lot of inspiration, Cancerian feminines. You have done something um, to this to this masculine being here. They are coming through and they are 
completely inspired by your actions, completely turned on by how smart you are. I think for once they are looking at the way that they attract women or, or, or what they like in women and finally realizing that it's not about uh, the outside. They really are falling in love with how beautiful you are on the inside. And I just don't think you know that yet. It's coming. This is beautiful energy. But right now you're working on you. You also have been doing a lot of inner, inner, inner uh, cleansing, if you will. But you're not upset and stressed out like masculine. Bottom of your deck is, yes, look, you've been in the night of, in the night of uh, pentacles. You've been learning. Look at that. You've been a student. You've been learning new things, maybe a new training, some type of newness, something new with a pinnacle, a new job. They've been dealing with their stuff, rebuilding from their loss that was in the past that maybe they didn't tell you about. And they didn't tell you how shallow they can be sometimes feminines when they don't have money. And I, and I don't want to judge, but the, the, you know, the fact that they could have told you that really rubs you wrong. You, on the other hand, while they're recovering from their losses and their recovery is right here, you've been building and you've been steady. Okay. But right now you are in your glow. This is the three of cups. You've been trying to enjoy yourself despite everything that's going on right now in the world. Okay. And you are steady building and climbing. You know how to take your time and be slow. You know how to do that. And there, whoa, you saw those fly out. They are completely inspired. They are, they, listen, and now you're not available. Wow. I don't know where that other card went. Honestly, I don't know. So if I find it, I will link it because I'm not about to do a somersault looking for it. If it flew. Listen, I remember every detail of that day. Oh my God, you are not playing. You really do not think that the timing was right for you guys. You, you, you're just, you're, you're not ready. You're not ready. This keeps coming back up though, feminines. And I think that I want to let you know that they love you and you love them. So they're recovering. You love them, but you're just not mentally available right now. Wow. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I see it's going to be this type of week. I can't wait to see what next week's energy brings. Um, I want to know. I want to hear from you. Let me know how you are feeling about this particular reading. Um, this is really interesting. Um, you know, there's so many different levels of, you know, I'm done. I just want to focus on me. The timing wasn't right. And I'm having to deal with that. I'm walking into my new beginnings, you know, and you're doing it without them. You love them. Yes. But now you can love them from a distance. You're just at a point where you're at peace with that. They can't do that. They don't know how to do that. Um, and that's a beautiful quality to have, Cancerian um, uh, feminines, to understand and accept that, you know, I, I, I love me. I love you. I love me. I've chosen me. But I have to love you from a distance because when our love comes together, then it turns bad. Um, wow. They want you back. They're completely, your intellect arouses them. They want you back. They want you back. They realize that making the mistake, choosing the wrong women, whatever they have done in the past as it pertains to the type of person that they were attracting. For them to say your intellect arouses me and I love this card. That is, a, and they're going through a judgment right now and they're recovering from losing you. They want you back. They're coming. And they want to know, you know, that you love them, but I don't think you're, 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 you're in love with them. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Wow. Let me know how you're rocking with a cancer in the description. I mean, in the comments. I will see you guys soon when we do it again. I hope it resonated. Let me know. I want to hear from you. Bye, guys.